Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm at Atlanta Anime Day once again. I was here a few years ago, the last time they had a physical, like actual convention day, uh, which I will link up there or down there, wherever. Anyway, go ahead and watch that if you want. It was a lot of fun. So I wanted to go again this year. So this year's a little different as you can tell. I'm in a parking deck, so they upped their parking game since last year. And they also have people who work here all around telling you where to go so you don't get lost, which is really nice because I got lost last year a little bit. Um, <laughs> so that was a really nice change. Also this year you can trade in some manga and get money off your ticket. So I brought enough with me uh, so I can get my ticket for free. So that's gonna be really nice. So let's go in. So I was able to find the location really easily. Here's the line. It's pretty long, but don't worry, it moved pretty quickly. So one of the fun things about having the line to get in right near the escalator to come down is that you can really can see all the cosplays and costumes and everything coming down um, while you're waiting. So it's just nice to like people watch for a little bit. And like I mentioned earlier, they had $1 off per manga that you brought in to trade in. So I brought five in, so my ticket was free. So first off is the vendor mall. Over here is the room for the events. I never saw another one, so I think that was the only one that was there. And there's the vendor mall, crazy. Here's the first table I went to, had these really cute little figures and everything, but everything was kind of expensive. I really consider getting this though. Here's another booth. This one has some of the same stuff as the first one, but some of it was a little cheaper. And then I actually bought some stuff here, which I will show later on. More booths with more cute figures, which I almost bought. Here is a uh, K-pop booth. They have a lot of booths like this at conventions where it's just a lot of K-pop stuff. Those little figures are really cute. And this booth had a lot of really cool uh, like grab boxes and stuff where you can get like for $5 you can get some random stuff, those themes. And a lot of cute stickers and stationery and just a lot of really cute stuff. I like these dice. One of the great things about like a really big convention area is there are a lot of cosplayers and you can just ask them to uh, like take photos and stuff and um, this guy was very nice and did a lot of poses for me for a video. Um, unfortunately, I completely forgot to get his name and his info so if you know him, please let me know so I can tag him. I feel really bad that I completely forgot. So I went back to one of the other booths uh, that had the boxes and I got some. And then a lot of these conventions have like um, game areas and this one had just dance, which was really fun to watch and play. They also had an area for PC gaming as well. And I saw some people playing like My Hero Academia and some other anime games as well over here. This area got really popular later on in the evening. And here's the um, event area again. Uh, here's the events for the day. Last time I went, they had a bunch of different rooms and they were playing um, anime, like having anime showings, which it didn't do this year, which I was a little disappointed in, but I understand everything had to be downsized because of COVID. Another mainstay of anime conventions is an area for photos. You'll see a photographer set up these lights and everything and the, that's where the big cosplays are. That's, so it's really fun to go out here and just people watch again. So I'm about to head home now uh, and then I'm going to show you everything I bought. So hold on just a second. 
So I'm back in my apartment, in case you can't tell, from my sofa, and I'm wearing sweatpants instead of jeans, and I took my earrings out and everything, so I'm nice and comfy, and I'm ready to go through everything I bought today. So let's get started. So first thing is this. It's uh, something from Jujitsu and Kaisen. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, it's one of those things I never feel like I'm saying right. Whatever. Anyway, I'm not sure what these are because none of it's in English. So, uh, or none that I can see right away. Yeah, nothing's in English. So I'm just gonna open this up and see what it is. I'm guessing it's trading cards just from like the size of the little baggie. It's very fruity smelling, so it might actually be candy. Go. Let's see. So the pack had these two uh, transparent cards here. Uh, I really like her, so I'm excited about that. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these, though. I'm not sure. Maybe put them up on my wall? I don't know. What do you do with trading cards? If anyone else has, uh, like, anime trading cards, like, leave a comment down below what you do with them. I really don't know. Because I remember my Pokemon cards back in the day. Like, I kept them in, like, a notebook kind of thing that had, like, trading cards lots. But these are, like, the only two I really have. And I can't imagine having as many, like, trading cards for anime characters as I did Pokemon cards. So, I don't know. Why does it smell so fruity in here? Okay, then there's, there's this. Which I'm guessing is candy or gum or something. It smells really good. Whatever it is. But it looks like gum, so I'm guessing it's gum. And then the next thing is also Jujutsu Kaisen. This one's a little figure. So you can get, um, let's see, it looks like you can get um, the main characters. Okay, so there's no side characters or whatever, so that's good. I hate when you like open one of these and it's like a little side character or something. It's not like the main ones. Let's see. Ooh, this is a lot of plastic. I feel like one of those like beauty gurus like lipstick and stuff doing this but try and make sure it focuses because I can't tell from my end of the camera. That's the figure right there. It has a stand with the, with the wolves and everything. It's going to look really cool. And I also got this also from that same booth. This is little like Hello Kitty kittens. That was the cutest thing. Now a lot of the things like at the vendor mall were things I had seen like in like the anime stores and stuff they have the malls around here so I was like oh I've seen that before or whatever but this I had not seen before so I was like oh I have to get that Let's see ooh so much packaging ah. oh isn't it cute it's a little uh Sailor Jupiter kitty so cute I wish I could have gotten more of these but I only saw one of these in the entire convention so uh, either they got all bought up before I got there, or they just didn't have any. But I thought it was so cute. So above my desk, I have like this little shelf, and it has a bunch of these little tiny uh, Sailor Moon characters. Little figurines that I've gotten over the years, and I have the entire cast, just about. I think I'm missing one or two. But I have like doubles and triples of others, so I, I can't remember which ones I have. But that is definitely going up there. Now another... Another thing that's uh, in the vendor mall a lot that I didn't get to really talk about much in the video is they have um, artists that have like original works, like fan arts. This is like um, the people, this is like the kids from My Hero Academia, like on a camping trip. I thought it was really cute. Um, the, artist, the artist that I got this from um, had like a $1 bin of prints and this is from her $1 bin. So I thought that was a really good find. Uh, also gonna go right above my desk. I have like a bunch of prints and stuff up there and I'm um, trying to decorate the whole wall over there and um, this is going up there for sure. 
And so the last two things I got were these like grab boxes, uh, cute little uh, Chinese takeout boxes. So I got a kawaii one and then I got a Spongebob one. So I'm gonna open the Spongebob one up first. So I got some stickers it looks like. Yeah, some stickers. Got this one of Spongebob and then this one of Spongebob and the Spongebob Doodle. I watched so much Spongebob when I was a kid, like so much, like it's not even funny. And so I got this of Patrick. Oh, that's cute. I think that's the one where he's asking if mayonnaise is instrument, I think. Oh yeah, that's definitely one of my backpack. And then I got two little Spongebob figures. I got this one of Patrick, doing looks like a belly flop in like pajamas or something. And then Caveman Spongebob. Now, like I was saying earlier, when I have like that shelf uh, above my desk of Sailor Moon figures, I have a few other like little tiny shelves with uh, miscellaneous other figures, and definitely the SpongeBob ones are going up there, and the Jujutsu Kaisen ones are going up there. I'm trying to get like a variety of different like things up there. Like for the long time, it was only Sailor Moon. I need to get some like variety up there. So that's everything I bought and did at uh, Atlanta Anime Day today. Um, that's really weird sounding saying that. Atlanta Anime Day Day, whatever. Anyway, so that's everything. If you like that video, please like and comment. If you wanna see more like it, please hit that subscribe button. Bye.